Welcome to the eighth part of the Open Penetration tutorial series. My name is Hans Estri and I'm the main developer of this game. In this part, we will finally have a look at our uh, trading office um, or also contour or branch office. Uh, basically, we have a starting trading post trading office in our hometown and as the game progresses we can build uh, other trading offices or branch offices in different other cities to uh, uh, further our uh, our uh, capabilities to doing trade so if we uh, enter the building we get uh, some uh, some options here the first one is the uh, balance sheet uh, where we get the uh, income or uh, uh, costs for the for the current week and the forecast for the for the next week we have rental income that uh, comes from uh, granted out house spaces. We have uh, wage costs uh, for, uh, for workers uh, in our workshops. Then there is uh, property tax that has to be uh, paid for uh, our property, for our buildings in this city. Um, then there is this post uh, office trading, which relates to automatic trading with uh, with the manager and uh, of course as we not yet have one this is zero and the steward that's basically the uh, manager that does this uh, this trading and he has some um, wage costs and then there is this other post poster uh, where everything else falls under uh, below here we have some some statistics number of workshops number of workers and how many we can uh, have at the, at the max and then also for our uh, buildings homes tenants number then the number of tenants and the uh, max number then next here is some um, personal information uh, birth date hometown social status reputation uh, and some hint on how to uh, progress further as the game progresses we can also marry and then the information of our spouse and eventually children will also be uh, listed below here in this personal space then there is an overview um, consumption and production this is basically the same thing as we uh, can also access from the uh, marketplace and i think we saw that already in the first part of this tutorial series and there will be an additional one uh, going into the details of the uh, mechanics here so I will skip that then there is weapons uh, these are all the uh, weapons that are in the game the amount that are stored in our trading office uh, and the amount that are in stock so we have the first four of those are the weapons that are needed to equip the, uh, the uh, city guard. So uh, unless you're uh, mayor of the city, don't even bother with those. Then the last one, uh, this is uh, enter knife, um, useful to have on, uh, on ships. Uh, uh, to prevent uh, boarding by pirates. Having this uh, hand to knives uh, increases the uh, fighting chances uh, to survive uh, this. 
And then the rest, those are the uh, ship weapons, the weapons that can be placed on the ship. Then we have also an uh, overview of the warehouses with the uh, required capacity. Uh, currently we don't have anything in our warehouse and the available capacity. And required capacity can be larger than the available storage. And then we would also have the, the surplus would be the additional uh, storage capacity. Um, we can also have stored uh, other goods in there. And if we have additional storage, we have to pay a uh, rent for that and this is that cost then we are living in dangerous times so we can hire guards for our uh, for our warehouses and they cost us some money and the uh, the uh, security label here tells us Okay, is the amount of guards appropriate for the uh, amount of uh, warehouses uh, that we have? And the last item here, this is the most interesting, even though uh, it's not looking like that. But once we hire an office manager or a steward, we get this. And in here, we can define automatic trading. Um, where we can define beer is sold to the city, bought from the city, or nothing. And then we can here set the amount and we can uh, check if, uh, if this beer should be loaded on the, uh, on the city. And if we are selling to the city, we can define a minimum price uh, until up down to this price, uh, the uh, office manager will sell beer in the city. If we buy from the city, uh, basically same setup. Uh, but here the price is the uh, maximum price uh, until which the office manager buys goods. And that's it from this part of the tutorial series. Thank you for listening in and join us in the next one.